so good. It's so clean. It tastes refreshing. Windsor's drinking water is above the standard. Ever think where it comes from? Our water comes primarily from the Detroit River. Looks clean, right? This is your water before purification. And also, what we're dumping into the Detroit River. Think you would drink that? Windsor is currently ranked last place in Ontario for sewage treatment. Almost 5% of Windsor's sewage is untreated and dumped directly in the water. In total, over 100 million liters of sewage enters the river daily. The polluted water has a tremendous effect on terrestrial life and aquatic life. Oil spills have also contaminated and killed many organisms throughout the history of the Detroit River. A large portion of the fish in the river have absorbed mercury into their bodies. This has made the fish dangerous to humans and everything else above it on the food chain. Extra chemicals can also seep into groundwater and kill plant life. All these chemicals have closed numerous beaches because they are unsafe. Would you want to swim in that? Since 2013, there have been 70 instances where the bromid levels have surpassed the al allowable amount. This has caused to be more cases of weak kidneys and nervous systems along with hearing losses. The water is getting worse and worse every single day. We need to take a stand together to make sure it is the best possible. Since the discovery of the issue, there have been regulations. They include the Clean Water Act and the Safe Drinking Water Act. Industries have minimized their chemical dumpings. Sewage water is being treated more carefully. And our overall water quality has risen. But what can you do? What can you do to help you solve winter's water pollution? First of all, never throw things in the water. We have garbage and recycling for a reason. If aquatic animals get hold of your trash and eat it, they might die. That might destroy the entire ecosystem. Help raise awareness. Other people will try to solve the problem if they don't even know what the problem is. Thirdly, treat water like it's your most valuable resource, which it is. You can't survive long without water, so why are you polluting and wasting all of it? We can only solve this problem with your efforts. If the water continues to be the way it is now, it will create a mass extinction in the Detroit River and Lake St. Do what we can today, as the future is now. Be the solution to water pollution!